So I'm going to instruct in converting a Windows 7 Professional OEM physical machine into a Windows 7 Professional virtual machine and activate it using OEM downgrade lights. So I've got an Optic like 7040 with Windows 7 Professional installed. And if I go to computer and select properties, I can see it's activated using OEM system lock pre-installation because the product ID contains OEM 899. So we can also launch a utility called Read Write Everything and then select Access and then ACPI Tables and we'll see that we've got a system license internal code and it's version 2.1 and it's for Dell. So this is the hardware that's needed to activate Windows 7 Professional OEM. Okay, so I've downloaded VMware Converter You'll need to get this from their website. I'll leave a link in the description. To download it, you'll need to create an account and sign in. The download is still free, however. Okay, so we can go ahead and install this on the machine that we want to convert into a virtual machine. And now we can launch it. And to the top, we're going to select Convert Machine. We're going to have Powered On checked, and we're going to change this to this local machine. And then we can select View Source Details. So that's OK. We can select Close now, and then Next. And the check down box at the top, we're going to select VMware Workstation. And we're going to save the virtual machine to a folder on the um, external hard drive. So I can select next. So there'll be maybe some warnings. So in this case, this host PC has got quite a lot of RAM. So it's recommending me to lower down the RAM to 2 gigabytes. So I'll do that. And I will select next and then finish. So I've sped up the recording here and this PC is relatively new. It's an Optiplex 7040 and it's a relatively clean Windows 7 installation. Obviously if you've got older hardware and you've got far more programs installed along with files, then it will take a lot longer and your virtual machine size will be a lot bigger. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the machine that I want to use as the host PC. So this is an Optiplex 7060 and it has a Windows 10 Professional OEM license. Now if I launch Rewrite Everything on it, I see once again I've got a system license internal code of version 2.1. Now, this is present on the host PC, but the hardware of the host PC is too new to run Windows 7 Professional directly. By default, this hardware is not passed through to the virtual machine. What we can do is go to the folder of the virtual machine and open the virtual machine configuration file in Notepad. And we can copy and paste the following three lines, which will pass the system license internal code through to the virtual machine. OK, so now we can launch the virtual machine in VMware Player. And if I just close down VMware Player and open it up again, I now see the virtual machine is added to the list. OK, so I'm going to log in and it's going to look quite messy to begin with because essentially let's go ahead and reinstall all the system drivers. So it will take some time to do this, just leave it to do its thing for for maybe five to ten minutes. And then you can go through the list. So most things will have a driver installed but there will be a few where it can't find the driver or it's looking for Windows Update. So these drivers will be additional 
virtual hardware added by VMware. So what we need to do is install the VMware tools. Now, if you don't have an optical drive, you'll have the option to install VMware tools grayed out. So we need to go ahead and add a virtual optical drive. And once we do that, we can relaunch the VM. It may complain if we don't actually have a physical drive, so we can just click no here. And now that we're logged in, it's going to continue installing some driver software. Okay, so we can leave it to do its thing there for a couple of moments. Okay, so what we can do now is check the device manager and these are the drivers that require VMware tools. So we can now go to player, manage and then install VMware tools. So the VMware tools should automatically launch, if not go into computer and go to the virtual optical drive and launch the setup.exe. Select finish and then restart your computer. So now we see that VMware tools are installed. So we can change the VM to be full screen. And if we right click computer and select properties, we should see that Windows is still activated using OEM system locked pre-installation. If we go to device manager, we'll see that we now have drivers for all the devices. Okay, so what we can do is Go to the downloads folder again and relaunch read write everything. Just as an aside, everything you add in the downloads folder or documents folder, or pictures folder, music folder or any other folder will have made a conversion into the virtual machine. So once again, if we select access then HCPI tables and then system license internal code, we'll see that we've got the Dell version 2.1 pass through from the host PC. Okay, so if we go to the computer and then uninstall or change a program, we'll see that all the programs we have installed are still listed. There may be a couple of programs that you want to remove, however, such as applications for drivers. So for instance, Intel Pro set wireless software will nag every time you start up because it can't find Intel wireless card because we have now got a virtualized network adapter instead. There may also be similar applications for graphics cards, which will again look for the graphics card every single time you launch your VM and nag that it can't find it. So these should be removed too.